Fresno State at Oregon. Now, the Ducks have got a massive game coming up next week. They are playing at the Horseshoe, and it's an early game for them. This situation was supposed to be a pretty easy win, but Fresno State last week just hammered UConn 45 to nothing. This line sits at Oregon minus 21. It's actually gone up. It was 20 just a couple of days ago, and it's now moved all the way up to 21. A lot of love for the Ducks here. I do think they are the significantly more talented team, but you got Oregon in a bit of a look-ahead spot. I like Jake Hayner. I like what Kalen DeBoer is doing. I don't trust. I, I've said it all offseason. I do not trust the Oregon secondary. And I think Fresno's got some weapons, man. Like, Ronnie Rivers can catch passes out of the backfield. He's a great running back as well. I think that the the DeBoer kind of spread offense that he runs, where he's going he's gonna to find space for his guys to get out there and make some moves, I, I like Fresno to keep this within the three touchdowns here. I, I think Oregon is a much better team, but I also think like Oregon is looking at that game against Ohio State as that's the one that we got to get. And they may not be paying all the attention that they need to to Fresno State. What uh, what do you say? So I don't have an opinion on this game one way or the other. I'm going to make a pick because we're making a pick here. But I, I really I haven't talked about it at all up till now because I don't I don't have a feeling. If you told me, who, I, who do I got to pick? I'm going to go with the same consistency that I've been. I think the bigger, stronger, faster, better coach football teams are going to win. Oregon's bigger. Oregon's stronger. Oregon's faster. People are killing their secondary. Listen, their secondary is not great in comparison to the best offenses in football. But do we really think Fresno State's got the best offense in football just because they beat the hell out of UConn? No. I made more money last week on one game than I have in a long, long time. Just betting against UConn. I bet against the team total. I bet against the first half. I bet against the second half. I bet against them, you know, for the for the whole game. You just play against UConn blindly, and you're just going to print tickets all year long. Yes, yes. Because Fresno did that, I'm still sticking with the, the better team, bigger, stronger, better coached, is going to win, going to cover. There's a reason this number went up. You know, I, I think the books know that, that Oregon's big and Oregon's strong, and Oregon has playoff aspirations, all right? And they're not going to overlook somebody if they've got playoff aspirations. They know they can lose the uh, Ohio State game and still make the playoff. They they need to beat the hell out of everybody else. Yeah, yeah, you you could be right about that. I don't disagree that Oregon is is in the playoff conversation. But I do wonder about this one because I think, that, I think Fresno can make them uncomfortable, and... This seems like one of those games that Fresno would be circling. It kind of goes against my theory, you know, that, that we just talked about. But, yeah, I, I think Fresno has got a few tricks up their sleeve that they will try in this game, and I think they'll keep it closer. But you are rolling minus 21. So we finally have two disagreements. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.